Adam Parker, the floor is yours, sir. Thank you. Okay, please take your seats. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy to be here. Everybody fired up. It's a great day. Who up? Who up? Anytime you get a Navy guy, they say, who up? That's awesome, right? So, but, uh, well, thanks everybody for coming. And uh, uh, thanks to Joan Fan. Although she's, she's tuning in from uh, somewhere. Uh, she just got back on a long flight last night. She had a long night. So thank you, ma'am, for dialing in. Uh, sir, I have a more things for being here. Fleets, he's tuning in from upstairs as well. And everybody else, all the staff that's here. And uh, of course, all the family that's here as well. Thank you for being here. Mom, Anna, came all the way from Puerto Rico. Oh, uh, a little warmer down there. Bless your heart for coming out here. <laughs> and then uh, 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 Chris and Bill for coming, coming from uh, Peoria. Of course, Kimber's here with Sebastian and Felix and Mike and Phil back there. So I appreciate you guys all the in-laws are here. And I especially want to recognize all the way down there, all the way from Puerto Rico, uh, Juan's grandfather, retired Command Sergeant Major Candido Berrios, and his father, retired Army Command Sergeant Major, Vietnam veteran, uh, gave Juan his first salute when uh, he got permission at the University of Miami, right? Sir, you. Sir. Go Canes, right? And then Juan said the grandfather, uh, Senior Chief Petty Officer Pedro Pizarro has passed away, also a career sailor, uh, passed away, but also a Vietnam veteran. So, um, and Juan's mother, Anna, was here, is a former Army Major and logistician, ordnance officer. So, Juan is not only third generation military, he's also a third generation sustainer. Both his grandfathers were, were, were transporters, logisticians. Anna was an ordnance officer, and then Juan was just as well. So that's pretty cool. Great, great heritage, great, great history. Right. I do want to acknowledge uh, Stephanie, and my wife, she couldn't be here today. She's up north, but she's watching today too, Juan, and uh, with Seth, our son. And uh, we, we, had, we had the chance to spend time with Juan and Kimber over the holidays. Got to meet Kimber. It was great. So, so I have some few notes because I'm, I'm speaking Air Force speak today, right? And, and it's hard to remember all these darn unit designations, all that stuff. So I try to, I try to do it. But I'm just learning, guys. So, uh, but you know, so when uh, when I when the when, when the call went out for that I needed a new executive officer, and uh, I selected people, the word got around, and I selected Juan. Everybody from General John Sullivan. All, the, all his teammates and the 5 4 and the GOC, everybody's like, Sir Juan is awesome. Super intelligent, super bright, great personality, great for the job. He will do great. You're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, of course. I <laughs> but, uh, all about Juan, great sense of humor. He's a great sport. We have a, we have a lot of fun up here with you all up on the third deck. And, our team here, we have a good sport, so I appreciate it. But, so, but anyway, but like I was, I was telling it, it, the family upstairs, you know, there's a reason he's here, and there's a reason he's in a position he's in, because he is special, talented. You know, kind of like last week when uh, Captain Tools was here talking about Caitlin and talking about some of the positions she had, there's a reason she had those positions. And what you hear, what you see in his, his biography, and what I'll talk about a little bit here today. But there's a reason he was selected for those positions. That's because of the, of the leader and officer that he is a talented leader. So, uh, I'm proud to have him as part of our team. He keeps me out of trouble. That's job number one. That's a big job. That's job number one. But, uh, yeah, so anyway. So, uh, like I said, Juan was commissioned on the University of Miami here at Fort Howard, TC. First assignment was up in Elmendorf, Alaska. So, that had to be a good Experience, right, coming out of Alaska, first time. It's good you can be here, I guess, right? So, um, after, after he threw up in Alaska, he came, he came here to Scotland, his first tour at Scott Air Force Base uh, with our component FDDC as our CENTCOM uh, operations officer. Um, so, he was here about a 
three years, right? And uh, great tour. You got to know about what Transcom does, who we are. You got that experience. The best thing that happened while I was here be my Kimber here, right? <laughs> that, that, that was a big thing that came out of here. So then, and then it goes to, um, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, the, the, the campus career course, right, which is the Air Force Equipment Campus Career Course. And what's neat is he was selected for the Spanish speaking version, which you have to be selected for, right? And so that's a great thing there. And then from there you go to Bogota, Bogota Colombia, right? Um, with the Ministry of Defense, working with their military sales, right? And then he goes to ILE, the Air Force version of ILE, again, selected for the Spanish speaking version. Which is awesome. Goes out to Tucson, Arizona, he becomes a fail foreign affairs officer. Again, highly sought after, but few get selected for a uh, foreign affairs officer. And while he's there, he takes, he does a six month uh, mobilization to Afghanistan, working with the uh, uh, Afghan Army training. And uh, he actually wrote an article, I should have bring the book down, he wrote an article afterwards in the Indo Paycom something journal, right? Uh, him and another officer about the uh, Afghan, Afghan Pakistan Hands program in Afghanistan. Great article, just another example of how talented he is. So, um, while they're in Tucson, Sebastian is born, first son, and then after that he comes here, Scott Air Force Base, and then there are 5'4, and this is where Felix is born. Um, so, he's been in our Air Force 15 years, and uh, just like the, the summary of those assignments, right? That's sort of how those personal talent that he really is. And uh, I, I know your mom's brought you and, and uh, Grandpa Perios and, uh, and uh, Grandpa Cabarro and everybody else. Uh, so I, I think that's all I have to say. This is your day. Um, but uh, I'm just very happy to have him on the team. Um, I've only known him for a few months, right? But uh, Great officer, great leader, great person. So I'll, I'll leave with this. So, so one of my favorite quotes from uh, General Lyons, a former commander, he said, show me a good father, and I'll show you a good leader. And uh, that's exactly what Juan is. I mean, he's a wonderful, uh, uh, that's a great father, and he's a great leader. He's got many great years ahead of him. And I'm military and Air Force, my joint force. Um, so right now, he's kind of part of the large team. Right? So thank you, Juan. Congratulations today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we will now read the promotion order. How was your? Attention to orders. The President of the United States, acting upon the recommendation of the Secretary of the Air Force, has placed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, integrity, and abilities of Major Juan C. Pizarro. In view of his special qualities and his demonstrated potential to serve in the next higher grade, Major Pizarro is promoted to the grade of Lieutenant Colonel, United States Air Force, effective the first day of February 2022 by order of the Secretary of the Air Force.
Energy Reserve passed away in 2018. Uh, commence our interference and help no longer allows us to travel. Um, I also think it's important to recognize that my grandmothers uh, as well who were military spouses during a time when there wasn't internet or Facebook or all the other social media platforms that make it easier to connect with people uh, at your current assignment and your next assignment too. And then I'd like to thank my in-laws for uh, coming down and making the trip to Portland, Peoria uh, to be here today. Uh, your love and support throughout the years has made all the difference in our lives. So thank you. And I'd like to thank all my family that dialed in virtually uh, for the ceremony from Puerto Rico, New York, uh, Georgia, Indiana, Texas. Uh, and I'd like to conclude by thanking my work family. Uh, these are the people at each assignment that have been influential in my uh, development and professional growth, both in and out of the office. Uh, I'd like to thank my first flight chief uh, at the Air Mobility Squadron at Elmendorf Air Force Base, and I'm retired Senior Master Sergeant Steve Quintana. I'm really grateful that the first senior two I worked with uh, went out of his way to set me up for success. Uh, Steve, if you're watching, you're still the man. Uh, I'd like to thank my friends, leaders, and mentors uh, in uh, Transcom uh, J54. Uh, there are too many of you to name individually, but please know that I appreciate our discussion about leadership and chain command. And I'd like to thank uh, retired Colonel Paul Shostak for being a great mentor while we were stationed in Columbia together, and then we were deployed to Afghanistan together as well. I'd like to thank my friends from uh, SCC also from Air Forces Southern and the uh, Security Cooperation Office at the uh, USF in Columbia. Uh, we truly came together as a family there that you know, made uh, that assignment really special. Uh, and, and last, I'd like to thank my uh, fellow support staff personnel on the third deck. I'm, I'm truly honored to work with such an amazing group of high-speed individuals. You guys motivate me. Uh, so I, I really appreciate you uh, working with you. Uh, it's been truly special this past uh, Thank you all for, uh, for coming today. I really appreciate it. Thank you and congratulations, Lieutenant Colonel Pizarro. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Please come forward and congratulate Lieutenant Colonel Pizarro and his family and join us for a reception. Thank you for attending. Have a great Air Force Day. <laughs>